Well, hello there, guys. Welcome back to Strategic Command. Uh, we're, of course, trying to go ahead and win as the Germans in this very, very long but very exciting campaign against Soviet Russia. Um, so, of course, we've got a lot we have to do here. And uh, honestly, uh, I'm, I'm not 100% sure we're going to succeed totally, but we'll, we'll soon find out. Um, so let's go ahead and see if we can get any attacks. I believe we've done most of these attacks already. Uh, but I'm just going to take a quick look, make sure we didn't forget any. And uh, there we go. That's one we can do against uh, Vishmi Volochik. I couldn't possibly know what that particular town name is about. Um, but for those of you that haven't seen uh, the last episode, you should definitely take a look at that. Um, that's actually quite important to kind of explain what's going on here in this one. Um, one thing we definitely want to do is we want to go ahead and start reinforcing the line here. I'm actually going to go forward and try to do some damage, but with that amount of men, probably not the greatest idea in the world. Now from Luga, uh, I will try to get some bombers out, but like I said, I believe we actually played most of this mission uh, in the last part of this Let's Play, um, or I should say most of this turn in the last part of this Let's Play. So right now we're going to go ahead and end the turn, turn it over to the Allies, uh, and hope for the absolute best. Of course, we still got some submarines over here, a few other uh, ships that we could clearly use. Um, so I'm going to try to bring some Italian battleships here to assist us in fighting off the British raiders, which are clearly harassing us pretty badly in this area. We've also got an enemy submarine here, but I think our destroyers have done everything they can to stop it. So we'll go ahead and just not worry about it too much um, as best we can. I'll also bring this battleship over. And we will, of course, now end the turn, turning it over to the Allies, but basically just giving ourselves some time uh, to be able to continue next turn. So let's go ahead, let's end this turn, uh, and let's hope that next turn we get a really, really good attack. So it says here, Grand Admiral, say yes if you'd like our ships to continue sailing through the Gibraltar Strait to the Atlantic. If not, then say no, and they will remain in the current position. Yes, of course we do, because we want to get those submarines uh, on the enemy trade posts. So let's see, German naval units pass through the Gibraltar Strait. That's the way to do it. Very cool. So that's an interesting way. Uh, obviously, we could have sent more um, ships here. Uh, and yes, we also want to send our Italian ships through, although there's only one submarine there. I'm not sure it's going to be able to uh, affect merchant shipping all that much, but at least the idea is there. So Soviet partisans hinder our supply. No surprise there. Foreign minister reports diplomatic success with Turkey. Remember, we're trying to get Turkey to join us. Um, so 14% towards the axis, and I believe if we get that up to 50%, uh, it would really, really help us. U-37 hit by rough seas. Well, come on, it's a submarine. Just dive, for God's sake. Just dive. I mean, storms don't affect submarines. Come on, people. At least I don't think they do. So here we go. Um, let's see exactly what the Allies are going to do here, specifically the Soviets. So if I were the Soviets right now, I'd try to break out of Leningrad, but look how close we are to Moscow, guys. We're right on the border of the city of Moscow. I mean, we are getting so close. We're also getting pretty close to Stalingrad. Uh, obviously, if we could take Stalingrad uh, very, very soon, that would be huge. I'm not sure if that's a possibility, but I'm certainly going to attempt it. And actually, it looks like what they're doing is reinforcing a lot of their units there on the front line. Probably a good idea. Um, clearly, we've pounded the hell out of their units, and they're going to need some reinforcement one way or another. Um, as you can see, the bombers continue to move in and attack, um, and they're actually doing a lot of damage to our uh, units in the Africa Corps. So this is something we should probably focus on. Okay, enemy destroyer attacks us, but the submarine dove, and he's doing just fine. And of course, we've got an, an American destroyer attacking our submarine here. He actually managed to do some damage, uh, which is scary, but the submarine is still hindering enemy supplies. Of course, the more the merrier. We should try to get as many subs out there as possible um, and obviously try and just destroy all the merchant ships we see in our way. Once again, destroyers finding us, but this time the sub actually fought back a bit. And I guess maybe we should bring some battleships out into the, uh, the Atlantic. Uh, I'm not sure how much work that's actually going to be for us, but probably something we want to think about or at least consider. 
Uh, so let's see what happens with that. Of course, now the enemy is attacking us from Volkov, which is actually one of our main objectives. And, yep, sure enough, they are going to try to break out of Finland. Pretty much makes sense. And they're actually hitting our tanks quite a lot, but I think our tanks are going to fight back pretty well. Of course, with the enemy stuck at Kaluga, I don't think there's any point at them pushing forward. But they're going to try, and it looks like our men are fighting back ferociously. Uh, but they keep swapping out men. So it's clear that they have a much larger army than we imagined. They just shattered one of our German corps in North Africa. We're definitely going to have to try and bring reinforcements forward to do something about the situation, my friends. There we go. Still trying to get out of Leningrad. Keep hammering yourself in. That's right. All right, that's definitely partisan activity. If you guys just saw that little gap widen up, absolute partisan activity. So we want to take a look at the map because I don't even see where it popped up. Uh, hopefully we'll get some sort of um, word on exactly where that popped up because I definitely want to get rid of that. Last thing we need are partisans behind our lines, cutting our rail lines up into little bits. I can't deal with that. All right, French partisans disrupt supply, but of course that's not a partisan group forming. It's just them disrupting supply, pretty much. Um, and of course the forces of Malta, once again, are hindering our supply. Axis raiders disrupt Egypt, UK convoys. Brazil declares war on Germany and starts raising a force to fight in Europe. Oh, come on, guys. I thought we were friends. Well, fair enough. Um, I don't think Brazil is going to really provide that much, but still troubling. And of course we lost the Africa Corps. Now that's definitely troubling. Um, battleship spotted, fair enough. Okay, army spotted, and of course, tactical bomber spotted near Philadelphia. Nothing we really have to be concerned about, to be honest with you. Um, what we do need to be concerned about is our actual shipping. We want to try and get our subs in a place where the enemy can't find them. And actually, over here near St. John's uh, would be a pretty good place near Newfoundland. And I'm also going to go ahead and look to see where the rest of our subs are. Remember the ones that just exited the Atlantic? I would assume that they would be somewhere probably uh, west of Portugal, perhaps. Uh, that's, that's where I would think, anyway. Let's go ahead and take a look. And sure enough, well, south of Portugal, in any case. Makes sense. Um, so we're going to start sending these guys out immediately. And they are, of course, headed towards those um, allied areas of operation, we can call them, I think. Let's focus right now on the Africa Corps, because actually that's a cause for concern. I also want to take uh, this Italian unit from Tripoli, start bringing them in. But we've got to start doing something about uh, the enemies pushing forward here. We're, of course, going to keep pushing uh, with our Africa reconnaissance just to take more land. But I think I want to bring in uh, some of these tank destroyers to go ahead and hit the Desert Recon unit. We will first use our Ariete uh, Italian tanks and now move forward with the tank destroyers. There we go. That's some nice damage. Uh, of course, we could always use more troops here. And, of course, we've got some Italians here. Uh, they're not in a position to reinforce right now. But we're certainly in a position to bomb the hell out of these guys. Okay, now something else I didn't even consider until now... Uh, well, I've been thinking about it, but number one, we could uh, do an amphibious transport with our troops from uh, Athens here in Greece. Of course, we are going to have to bring some Italians down here from Larissa to make sure that we don't have any Greek uh, patriots that decide they want to take back their country. That would be bad. Uh, I also want to see if we can destroy this submarine with our Italian destroyers. Now, it looks like the submarine has got our Italian destroyers beat. There we go. A little bit of damage, at least. Although I don't see a single unit that went down there. Alright, 
So the enemy subforce near Malta is quite strong. But what I was thinking is taking some of these units near France. We know that we're probably not going to be going for Operation Sea Lion, even though it is actually a requirement to get a total victory in the game, I believe. So maybe we can take some of the units over here, uh, especially anti-air. And then again, anti-air is not going to be that useful. I think we'll just worry with our production. We'll go ahead and try to buy some armies. Uh, let's go ahead and try to get another army going here. And of course, these guys will go straight into North Africa. Let's get another army, anti-infantry weapons, purchase, and maybe even a tank division. Uh, anti-tank, no, we don't want that. Heavy tanks, that's what we want. So give them some advanced tactics, mobility. Now, of course, we're doing this at the cost of MP, which is going to affect us quite a lot. Uh, but we still want to deal with Turkey. We still want to try and get Turkey on our side. They're 41%. Um, in favor of us, which is pretty good. So we're still investing um, a lot here, and I'm going to invest even more. It would be amazing if we managed to get um, a deal with Turkey and get them on our side. So here we go, guys. We're going to continue our move towards Stalingrad. Uh, I think this area over here, Morozhevsk, is going to be important. So I want to bring in some bombers to try and lighten this area up. Pretty nice. Uh, let's see if we have any more bombers. We're going to go hit this Soviet tank crew. I guess we can't. Didn't we just use those guys? I didn't think we did. Tactical bombers. We should be able to use them. I guess they have to be a lot closer. Fair enough. Destroy that unit near Rostov, and we've shattered a Soviet unit pretty quickly there. And I'm actually going to move these Romanians near Rostov to Salsk. Of course, the enemy is going to have some units there. But actually, the Romanians fought pretty bravely. And with the rest of these guys, we want to just keep pushing through. Uh, try and get to these rail lines south of Staling Stalingrad and eventually uh, get a victory at this area. So let's stop there. That's pretty good. Ooh. We've got some Soviet headquarters. So the Romanians are going to push through and try to eliminate those Soviet headquarters. I'll also send them through over here, guys, to try and take uh, Morozhevsk, which is very close to Stalingrad, as you guys can see on the map there. We're really leaving this up to, um, I don't want to call them our lesser brigades, but uh, our not-so-strong brigades, which are basically our Italian units. Um, and I hope they can, they can do an okay job here. We're going to cross the Don with the 17th Army. And I think we're doing some serious damage, but we're going to do even more damage once we get the uh, L1 Corps to Borolevsk. And look at that. Now we've cut off a bunch of enemies. Uh, and there's actually a fighter squadron here which we definitely want to deal with. But before we do, let's go ahead and... Uh, might as well destroy that garrison squadron. I don't think it's going to give us a national morale gain, but I really want to try and cut off every single rail line coming in here. Fire on Tambov. Now, with our armored cars, I'd like to reinforce them, so we'll get max reinforcement, which is only going to be seven. Uh, the good news is I think that we're pretty close to Voronezh, the Voronezh is going to be tough to take, believe it or not. Um, first anti-tank. Managed to do some damage, but we're going to take a lot in return. We really want to destroy those enemy tank divisions. And if we can't, we're just going to have to focus on other areas, uh, like Tula, for instance. But right now, all I want to do with Tula and Kaluga is basically cut them off. The longer they are without supplies, the easier it's going to be to destroy them. Let's also deal with this partisan unit. And yes, we're bringing in actual Panzer Grenadier squads to deal with these partisans. That's how much I fear them right now, and it's a 75 national morale bonus. Uh, and obviously this area, despite being a safe area for runaway partisans, isn't really providing any cover for them. Uh, we'll go ahead and attack Rzhev. And I think with one more attack, maybe we need some bombers for this mission. Oh, we may need to get some bombers. All right, at Lugo we've got some bombers. Unfortunately, Rajev is a bit too far away, uh, so we'll use them to s try and help our boys at Leningrad. Uh, obviously, as you can see, they're doing everything they can from, to stop us, basically, from getting into Leningrad. Uh, this would be a major, major um, victory for us. Okay. How would our infantry do? Let's go for it, boys. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to break through little by little. I'm even going to swap with this infantry right here just so he gets an attack. With these guys, we definitely have to reinforce. Max reinforcements, which is only going to get them to four. So I'm going to risk losing that army. Just 
because I see no benefit whatsoever in increasing their points by one. This is what we're doing just to try and get Turkey on our side. Keep that in mind. We're taking a major risk. Maybe not even a worthwhile risk, but a risk nonetheless. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Okay, guys, we're getting very close to Moscow at this point. Um, I will start attacking the air units outside Moscow. Send some more units up there, but of course we've got to take Kaluga first. And we've got to keep in mind that our general is close, but not so close. So probably would be in our best interest to get him a little bit closer to the front lines. Um, we've also got some bombers here, which could use some reinforcements. But again, we've used our MPP up. So I'm going to try and hit those tanks near Voronezh. I think the key is getting to the north of those tanks and uh, doing some serious damage to the enemy. Come on. Nice. Two damage. And that's very, very good. We're going to do the same once again. Beautiful. Getting them down to three. Imagine if we could take out an entire Russian tank army here. It would be incredible. It probably won't happen, but at least we're cutting them off. Let's attack again. Beautiful. So already we're doing a lot of damage here to the Russians. And of course, I'll be attacking in the south as well here. Although I, will, I do think we're expending a lot just for Voronezh. We need to start moving this army uh, towards Stalingrad. But to do that, I think we're going to need to destroy some enemy here. So let's attack. And we're going to actually take this general unit and send him to Kamtamerovka. But before we do, I want to make sure that the enemy is well beaten, put it that way. Pretty beaten up. I'm actually going to send this tank unit over here. Let's move this guy to Kamtamerovka. We're getting awfully close with Lists HQ, but I think we'll be okay. Maybe we can reinforce these guys. Ugh. One reinforcement point. We're going to have to save our MPP next turn. For sure. And maybe even send in some bombers down here from Mariupol. Although I think we've already sent these guys into action. I'm pretty sure we have. We do have some more Romanian troops though on the way. And of course we've still got Sevastopol. So let's see if we could take Sevastopol here. Uh, we'll send in the rail car. Not too effective. Let's send in the Luftflotte fighters. And this is a primary supply depot for the Soviets, even though they can't really get anything from it. So we do want to try and do as much damage to it as possible and eventually capture it. I mean, the fighters inside, they're dying quickly, but they are fighting with an iron will. And there we go. Sevastopol is open. Uh, heavily damaged from combat as well, though. Could have gotten a lot of supplies from it, but you know what? It's ours now, guys. That's a huge victory for us. So, of course, all of Crimea is ours. We could start moving these troops north, east, wherever the hell we want. In this case, I'm going to be moving them north towards Stalingrad uh, because we need more men to help on that front for sure. Let's take a look over here, make sure we've done everything we can with these guys. No, that's not going to work out very well for us. Now this, tank versus tank. Actually, I'd rather destroy their infantry unit. I expected that to work for sure. All right, maybe our Slovakian Corps can destroy these guys. Oh, come on, Slovakia. You can do better than that. So right now, the... We're getting somewhat stopped, not not bogged down really. I mean, we can still make it, but one thing I'm gonna do is send that tank over here, cut off some more rail lines to the enemy. But the enemy is definitely succeeding in, in essentially finally setting up some sort of blockade for our men. Um, of course, near Moscow, we don't have that many men to begin with, but they're not doing terribly bad. Let's put it that way. We want, do wanna take a look over here at North Africa. And of course, we want to try and do as much damage to the enemy here. So I'm, of course, going to start attacking this British unit. I'll move this guy back to Mersa Matru. This artillery division, all we can really do is get a little bit closer. And I think that's going to be it for this turn, guys. Um, I think for now, we need to rely on maybe some, uh, some invading forces coming from uh, Greece and other places that can assist us. In the meantime, we really just need to keep on fighting. Uh, in fact, I'm going to totally ignore Novorisk just to try and mess with the enemy rail yards. 
uh, because I think every rail yard we cut off here is going to make it really hard for these other guys to get um, supplies from Stalingrad and other areas. And that's obviously one of our goals, is try to cut off their rail supply completely. In fact, in many cases, we want to cut off their armies completely, like right here. If we could get one unit right there, they would be totally cut off. We would have encircled a massive Soviet army and obviously uh, be on the road to victory there. Why not? We might as well attack Tula. Sad we didn't take Brzev this turn, but I'm pretty sure we'll be taking it next turn. And uh, that's going to be it, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. If you are, make sure to hit that like button. Obviously, take a look at the other uh, videos we have in this series. Uh, we always like to get your feedback on, on what you think, what you're enjoying, what you're not liking, etc. Um, so make sure to let us know. Also, make sure to take a look at the other videos we have in this Strategic Command series. Your feedback means a lot. Thank you, guys. Take care. Have an awesome, awesome day.